Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody had a great weekend. We had some wonderful, cool weather. It's almost ready for hoodies. These nice, cool mornings, they're fantastic. I hope you're enjoying them. Congratulations to everyone. You made it through the first week. I know it's gonna take some getting used to, be patient, but I appreciate your patience and I appreciate your patience with me as we get this course rolling. I know that it feels weird wearing a mask all day long, but thank you. Everybody has been doing so well. I'm very proud of you for all of that. You've been showing really good concern for other people by keeping those masks on. You've also been doing really well keeping distant, so thank you, very well done. Something really great on the drive-in this morning. I drove past, well, the act, it's not great, there was an accident. Three cars, little fender bender. They just kind of bumped into each other. Three cars, that kind of stinks. But the people were out of the car, clearly upset. But they were keeping socially distant and they all had masks on. It was very responsible. We want to keep everybody safe. We want to keep everybody learning. I want everybody to learn something new in this class. So if you put the effort in, you put the time in, really think about the assignments, you'll learn something and hopefully have a good time doing it. I know some of you are scared or nervous, and that's totally okay, but we're all in this together. You have a lot of support, so please reach out if you're having a hard time with anything, but we're all here to support you. I've noticed through the summer that... Really? Amazon Prime truck. It's difficult for some people to visualize what six feet is from being apart from one another. So, I made a measuring stick called social distancing sticks. First, I cut a pine board at six feet on the chop saw, and I took that board over to the table saw, ripped it down into six strips that were three quarters by three quarters inch square. After that, I angled the table saw to about 30 degrees and cut the corners off. Makes it much more pleasing to hold in the hand. Feels more like a, a lacrosse stick. It's like an octagon shape. Gave it a little bit of sanding to smooth out the wood. Then I measured out 12 inches, put pencil marks on the stick so that we know it's six feet. Wrapped around that line with tape so that I could take it into the spray booth and spray it down with maroon paint. I only have maroon paint in spray, so I couldn't brush it on, which is what I did with the white. After that paint was dry, peel off the blue tape, retape it for the white, and then brush on the white paint. After it's all dry, we have a completed social distancing measuring stick. Laying one of these out can help you visualize how far six feet is so that you can keep the proper distance away from other people in your daily travels. Being aware of that space and visualizing measurements is a really useful skill to practice we have a couple measuring activities today, so check out the module, and I will see everybody next time. Remember, Morristown cares about you, I care about you. Be excellent to each other.